today on an all new Dr. Phil. The document's a fraud. You're gonna make me cry. Well, I would rather you cry than keep sending that son of a bitch money. There is a manual that's training these scammers on what to do and how to do it. You tell us she's beautiful, she send out some pictures. I'm no photographer, but I can picture us together. It's absolutely sickening. Last year, nearly 70,000 people reported being victims of romance scams with collective losses totaling over, get this, $1.3 billion. That's just in 2022 alone. Now, I've had dozens of guests on this stage who have shared very similar stories. They've fallen in love with someone they met online, and shocker, they've never met in person. When did that even become a thing? These people have sent anywhere from a few thousand to $1.3 million to somebody they fell in love with, got engaged with or whatever, but never met in person. Some have sold their vehicles or homes in the name of love. Now, yesterday we met Terry, who's been sending money to her boyfriend, Ricardo, who claims he's stuck in Canada, waiting to receive the money from their Bitcoin investment. How do you get stuck in Canada? Now, Terry thought she had only sent Ricardo around $20,000. Well, we did the math and she was a little off. She sent nearly four times that amount, but she says it's okay because their Bitcoin investment should now be worth about $800,000 and should be receiving her money any day now. Here's what happened yesterday. For the last two years, my sister Terry has been involved with a man by the name of Ricardo. They met on Facebook Messenger. He wanted someone to spoil, and I said, you can spoil me. He's very handsome. Ricardo calls me his wife. Sometimes I cannot figure out what he's saying, but he doesn't sound an African. Ricardo claims that he's a U.S. citizen, that he has a home in Malibu, but he claims that he is in Canada. How do you get stuck in Canada? He went there for a job, and. Well, I go to Canada all the time. I've never been stuck. I mean, you can, it's like going to Cleveland or something. Ricardo does tell my sister he wants to marry her. He wants to share his millions with her, and Terry believes it. Terry has never met Ricardo. They've been dating for two years. About a month after Ricardo and I met, he started asking me for money. Terry, you think you sent him around ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000. So you've actually sent him a total of $79,561. What do you think about that? Sick. I'm sick. The only thing worse than being in a fraudulent, non-existent relationship for a year is being in it for a year and one day. He's supposedly this really wealthy guy, but he's asking her for money. Does that make common sense? No. Sometimes this whole thing doesn't make common sense to me. Do any of you think a decent man would allow a woman to do that? You're gonna make me cry. Well, I would rather you cry than keep sending that son of a bitch money. <laughs> Terry says Daryl claims he's the only one with keys to Ricardo's condo, but we found someone else who also has a key. Uh, here's what she had to say. Hi, my name is Jasmine Wilcoxon. I am the real estate agent here at 1211 Caroline Street. I am helping the sellers right now sell this property. The home has been on the market for 11 days. What I do know is that Daryl or Ricardo are not the owners of this property, nor have they ever been, and they have not accepted any offers under that name. She's standing in the unit that's supposedly your condo. That's the address, that's the unit number, and it's owned by somebody, not Ricardo, not the CEO. And she's saying it's on the market, not being sold by either of them, not being bought by either of them. And that's the unit. That's the address, the unit that supposedly is your next place to live. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.